Welcome to Guru Ratin tutorial videos. So I'll be uh, posting few tutorials videos related to Mule application, Mule software, and this will be the first one of it. So I'll be starting with how to set up the environment to make this Mule for run. So many of us would have got an issue while run, starting the Mule application. So I'll be covering that how to launch the Mule application in your Windows machine. So these are the steps which we are going to follow. First, we need to install Java. So you can just go to the browse to install JDK and there will be Oracle redirected to an Oracle site where you can install your Java JDK kit. And once your application uh, Java Java is installed, so you can just do your environment variables. So I have done it previously. So you need to set it as a variable name as Java home and variable value as the JDK path to it. And you need to set the path for that as well. So you need to refer to the bin folder. So after setting it, you need to confirm whether the particular application is installed. So just go to your command prompt, type java space hyphen version. So you can see the install version in it. So it is confirmed that your java is set to the system. And now what we are going to do is next step is to install the mule application so to download the software you just need to go to the mulesoft.com we can just normally google it like any any point studio downloads will be related to the site and choose your operating system as windows if you're windows this tutorial is all about how to install the mule into windows and launch the application so as per my configuration i just selected and downloaded it so i have the application downloaded and you can unzip it so when you try to launch once you unzip the application when you try to launch it it will ask for ask for your workspace just click launch and you will be getting this error. So what you have to do here is you just go to the anypointstudio.ini file, click edit with notepad. So the key thing here is we need to refer the Java w.exe. So what you have to do is I have these two lines which that needs to be added to this okay so if you take the line fifth line i just by adding this this is our two lines vm and you have to refer to the java w.exe file so once you are done that save the file now try relaunching this anypoint studio click launch and it should open now why yeah so this is how you launch the application. I think this is a basic error where everyone will be facing while installing the Mule 4 because in Mule 3 application, we don't have this problem while launching it. Sometimes we have the problem in the space. So we need to configure this from subspace and these three parameters based upon your machine uh, capacity. And how much space does the this application needs to use in your VM? So once you last launch the application, so if we have noticed, so before the before in these Mule 4 in Mule 3 versions, we were supposed to refer our JDK path for the code to compile. So if you see here, the automatically it takes the JDK path which where uh, there is a one step where you just need to configure this each and every time as you do it in as you create a new workspace in mule 3 
you will be configuring this JDK path in every workspace. So here for this whole uh, Mule 4, whatever the workspace you create, it will automatically refer to the JDK 1.8 as we are refer this into the IN, any point studio, INI file. So this is all the, this is all we have today for this tutorials. See you in one more tutorials. Hope you liked it. See you again. Bye.